this the state media goes under the control of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission <coughs> immediately when the president declares a date for the election. So it becomes something which does not even own by them, but it becomes owned by the Electoral Commission. And uh, it then becomes disposed to uh, anybody who uh, is uh, intending to use the media. But um, if there are any hitches, we are prepared to look at that. Uh, so that it mm -hmm. could be approved. Yes, the criminals. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the system of uh, dealing with uh, any criminal is through the courts. We don't declare criminals guilty until they are proven. And therefore, uh, <coughs> it is the court process. And you cannot frog much the court processes. What you can only do is to provide the institutional framework <coughs> to do with uh, 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 establishing like uh, the, 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 the corruption courts uh, or the other issues. So that at least the judicial system is able to work efficiently to deal with some of these matters uh, expeditiously. Uh, so we believe that uh, it, uh, it would, uh, would work. And um, I didn't pick the last one. Especially from the diaspora. Oh, the diaspora constituency. Oh, the diaspora constituency. Yes. It, 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 I'm not sure whether in terms of voting or in terms of uh, uh, the skills. Representation. Voters are literally creating a constituency. I think this is something which, which will have to be, it's an important point. It's something which I think... I proposed it two years ago. Ah, uh, well, uh, two years ago we were not there. international cases against Zimbabwe regarding the land reform program. I've acted as counsel on three of them. Uh, two of those cases held that the land reform program was discriminatory on grounds of race. Uh, those awards remain outstanding. Can you reassure the beneficiaries of those awards and indeed their governments, because they're under international treaties, that those awards will be honored? I will add that since the change of government, there appears to be no change in attitude by your government. First, is the, um, the diasporans' uh, the desire for land uh, to... This is open. There is the Land Commission, which has now been established. This process of land management is still going to be an ongoing process uh, continuously. It is not in the manner in which it was before but it is going to be under the control of the land board so that there is effective management and which is not discriminatory, but which ensures that those who have not benefited and who have got the resources, by the way, can do so in terms of having the actual land itself. And you are, you are aware that uh, uh, government is, going, is auditing land both in terms of um, multiple ownership and also in terms of uh, uh, usage. In other words, there are people who are probably holding on to land which they have got no capacity to use. And we are saying, if you are good as a businessman somewhere else, try a different business. 
and, and not agriculture, so that those who have got resources can do so. And that's why we are also even discussing with the different players so that uh, uh, the resources can also be found, even for those. But um, this uh, aspect is uh, a deliberate exercise. We are doing an, an, a, a, a land audit, and then so that we can have a computerized system which can then focus primarily uh, on the uh, diasporians who are out here and particularly those who have got resources uh, to uh, do agriculture. But there are also other ways of doing so. Going into joint ventures, this is now acceptable uh, so that uh, you can also even undertake uh, certain things <coughs> and then do go joint ventures with those who we own, who own land. Um, in as far as the issues to do with um, uh, the, the, the decisions and uh, judgments, I'm not aware about those cases, but um, if there are such kind of cases, Zimbabwe is committed to the rule of law. <coughs> Zimbabwe is committed to look each, at its case on its own merit and so that there is compliance to the uh, rule of law and to the decisions of the courts and the appropriate courts. Thank you. Uh, two more short questions. Yes, lady on my right. Is the microphone coming? Oh, I represent the NGOs, <coughs> charities. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Swasi Somoya, for being with us in the United Kingdom. Um, this sector, the charities and NGOs, um, we are looking at how we can support the revitalization of the educational and health sectors. And um, I represent the international projects. And there's been a negativity <laughs> of charities and NGOs coming into Zimbabwe. What are the policies in place? that will promote the reinvestment <coughs> of NGOs, charities, and also Zimbabweans who are philanthropists <coughs> to come and support the government in the area of education and also health. Because we have the resources to do so, but we want that assurance to say when we come with those resources, we have uh, protection and also the government has policies in place to support people with charities. Thank you. Thank you. And one more question. Uh, yes, gentlemen at the back. Middle, yes, you sir. Since I've come. Uh, in our country, we had a bit of a shock uh, about a year and a half ago Excuse when Donald me. Trump to to film has uh, uh, come out victorious in an equally surprising situation against President Evan <laughs> 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 So this is on the record. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Let me just respond to the charities. Uh, Madam, uh, charities of that nature, which come in to support uh, the weaker social side of our society, like health, uh, like education, are very much welcome. And in fact, uh, we guarantee you that uh, you are the people we are looking for, especially if you're Zimbabweans and you have got resources. And uh, we are saying, come, let's rebuild Zimbabwe together. Because it has got to be built from all dimensions. And uh, social networks must be also be a focus, which we must never omit. Um, the short answer to your question. <laughs> is absolutely yes. The president has come up on record saying if anyone else comes victorious in the election, he is prepared to accept. And the current kind of the politics which we are introducing in Zimbabwe is such that political the contestation must not have high stakes. The political contestation must not override 
national interest. The national interest must be prime. People can come and go, but the state in the country is more important. This is the new thinking of this new secret held <coughs> called Zimbabwe. Well, you can't get a more straightforward answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, now we have time for a couple of more questions. Uh, yes, madam. Thank you. Um, my name is Claire Milhinch. I'm from Reuters. Um, we have a question about mining. Um, will the government change the requirement in the new mining bill for all mining companies to list on the local stock market? Okay, thank you. And uh, yes, sir, gentleman wearing the scarf. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is the new Zimbabwe. <laughs> <laughs> so, two quick questions. In terms of learning from history, um, how is the UK relationship with Zimbabwe? Do you think we have the right balance in our interests and concerns? So obviously, for example, we know the land issue, and if I'm not wrong, 10 white Zimbabweans died during that process. That led to sanctions, expulsion from the Commonwealth. Barely 10 years after all that, um, up to 20,000 people died in Matabili land. Britain didn't take that kind of attitude and indeed, well, we're going to be on a knighthood some years later. Um, and also a question for you, Mr. Moore, my last question is, um, I'm glad to hear that you welcome uh, diversity in politics, and I'm glad to hear that you're committed to the unity of Zimbabwe. Um, but I, if I'm not wrong, I understand that uh, the new president spoke in English and said, we're looking for a new democracy. Yet in Shona, if I'm not wrong, he said, um, and you can, I'm sure people, my colleagues, can let me know. Uh, those who oppose us can bark like dogs, but Daniel PF will run and run. And I just want to clarify that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's already been asked. But I'm now giving you an opportunity to ask the last question. You did right. Fair enough. Thank you very much. Yes, please. Yes, um, uh, to the issue to do with the Mining, um, mining Act, yes, previously there has been that um, uh, uh, indication that in the Mining Act, New Mining Act, Mining the Mineral Act, that uh, there was to be a requirement to list on the Zimbabwe uh, Stock Exchange, and I'm aware that it went through the first reading and it also went through the second reading. But let me assure you that this new dispensation has agreed that <coughs> that provision is going to be taken away. So be happy and come into the land. <laughs> 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 And then, um, uh, the, I was not sure whether the question was directed to me or to, to you. I'm going to give you the privilege of answering it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you can answer it in either English or short. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, uh, whatever happened, uh, the, our position at the moment is that uh, let the bygones be bygones because uh, we must uh, focus on the future. Uh, however, uh, we have had uh, uh, the president sign uh, 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 a reconciliation uh, commission, uh, and then so that uh, certain issues can also be culturally sorted out. Um, when uh, the, the alleged statements which you are saying uh, was, were, were mentioned about uh, uh, democracy, and then on the other hand said. Uh, uh, they can back and back. In fact, if there is anything which uh, the president has been very good at, is that he has said he listens very much to the opposition. He listens. And any good idea, he takes and implements it. <laughs> <laughs> And as a way of expressing in Shona, he says, because we've been doing good things, everything which is wanted by the people. All the good things are going to be done by us. 
and therefore we will then continue to be uh, voted in power. That's basically what he planned. Well, thank you very much, uh, Minister. I think we've run out of time. We could have gone on for another half hour. But uh, you have been very willing to take some quite difficult questions and to give very, very frank replies, uh, which suggests that we haven't been a diplomat for very long. <laughs> <laughs>